Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a 3-in-1 wireless charging stand from our friends at Bifrost that provides an incredibly easy way for you to quickly and safely charge all of your portable gear. The product provides three different charging options at the same time. You can charge your Apple Watch on the top, your AirPods on the back, or your iPhone on the front. And because it adheres to the Qi charging standard, you can use any product that you own that charges through a Qi charger. So it's really universal in a lot of ways. Now, Bifrost has built a lot of cool features into this that I'd like to explain. But before I get into that, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included. And that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you buy this product. And then I'll explain how to use the unit and I'll point out the features that Bifrost has built into this because wireless charging stands are really common. There's a lot of companies that make them, but this product really has features in it that you're going to appreciate, and I'll take some time to point those out as I go through this review. But let's get started with the unboxing. When you pop open the box, you'll find the wireless charging stand. Again, it's high-impact plastic. It's made in both black and white versions, so you can pick whichever one you like better, but both of them operate exactly the same. And as I mentioned, there's a pad on the top for your Apple Watch. The phone sits on the front, and you can put it in horizontal or vertical position. It'll charge in either position. And on the back is a place for your AirPods. And once you plug this in, all three of those wireless charging sections come live at the same time. So you can charge one device or all three devices, whatever you need. It's perfect for setting on a bedside stand or on a counter. When you come home from a long day at the office, just put your portable devices on it. It'll immediately start charging those devices. But Bifrost thought about how you're going to use this, and one of the challenges with wireless charging is you need a pretty powerful wall charger to drive enough current into the unit to wirelessly charge three things at a time. So what they did was build in a beautiful charger. It's an 18-watt QC, which is a quick charging standard charger. You'll plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of it, or the port on the back of it, I should say, has a USB-A connection. They've also included a heavy-duty USB-A to USB-C cable. So you'll plug the USB-A end into the charger, and the USB-C end plugs into the back of the unit right there, and that's all the power you'll need to charge all your devices. And again, the challenge is a lot of times you'll buy a charging stand, but you won't get the cable, you won't get the charger, and you'll use an older charger that won't drive enough current at the charging stand to actually work, and you'll have problems charging it, or it'll take forever to charge your devices. By having a high-powered charger like this that's quick charge compatible, you know that you're going to get the fastest and safest charge to your devices. Also included is a full instruction manual that lists everything you could possibly need to know about the charger and all the accessories that come with it. So always read through the manual because even though you can figure this out on your own, I mean, it seems pretty simple. You plug it in, you connect the cable, and you drop your uh, devices on top of it. It's always good to read through the manual because there are things in there that really help you get the best value out of the product. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the actual charging stand itself. As I mentioned, you'll see a place in the front for your phone, a place in the top for your watch, and another place in the back for your AirPods. And what's cool about this is, number one, They've added rubber feet on the bottom, and I know that seems like a small thing, but a lot of these come as plastic, and if there's nothing on the bottom to keep them from slipping around, if you set this on your bedside stand, I promise you, when you try to set your phone on it, you're going to be chasing it across that bedside stand. So by having rubber feet on the bottom, I can easily put my phone on there, and it stays exactly where I left it, and I like that. So it's not going to scratch my bedside stand. It's not going to dance away from me when I put the phone on it. Another thing they did, which I think is really nice, is there are rubber pads everywhere your products are going to impact the stand. So on the front, there's a nice rubber pad here to hold your phone in place. There's a rubber pad on the top. When you lay your watch down, you know exactly where you need to center it. And there's also a rubber pad on the back right here. So when you put your AirPods down on top of it, they're not going to slide around because if they're not perfectly positioned, they're not going to charge. And that's where it really gets interesting with this particular product because a lot of these you're always guessing. You put your phone down, you can see that the phone's charging, but you kind of monkey around with the position of where the AirPods go, where the watch goes. So the rubber helps to center it, to keep it in position, to know you're charging it correctly. But they took another step by adding three LEDs in the bottom right here that come on when you first connect up a device. So when you lay your phone here, when you have it in position, which is hard to miss, you'll get a green light on the front, letting you know it's in the correct position and it's charging. When you drop your watch at the top, you'll get another indicator. When you put the AirPods on the back, you'll get another indicator, and I'll show you those in a minute, but those turn on for a couple of seconds, and then they turn off. So you can go to sleep, there aren't gonna be lights all over your room, but I like the fact that when I lay something down, like these, these AirPods, these aren't AirPods, these are a different brand, but they're cheap compatible. When I lay those down, if I'm a little off center, the light won't come on, so I know to move it into center position, I see the light come on, and I know I'm charging it immediately. So that's a really nice feature. Now, as far as the charging capabilities go, I mentioned this is 18 watts. This will charge the phone at 10 watts, 
the watch at five watts and the AirPods at three watts, which is exactly what you need. A lot of these are unregulated and they'll just start throwing electrons at the products. And over time, you can definitely damage some of your expensive electronics because if it's not regulated, you don't really know what kind of current is being fired at that device. So I don't want to find that out by burning out my AirPods or burning up my watch. So I love the fact that it's regulated. They've also built in other safety features, which you may not find on a lot of other charging stands. Things like over current protection, over voltage protection, short circuit protection, because remember, you've got inductors behind this surface that are just emanating radio waves waiting for something to show up that it can charge. So it's got a companion receiver inside here, and that's how you wirelessly charge. Well, if you put something metal on here inadvertently, or if you lay down some jewelry on this, it's gonna try and start charging that jewelry because it sees it as magnetic, and it's gonna burn up. So what this does is it realizes pretty quickly that's not the device that I need to charge. Let me turn off that circuit so I don't cause any issues and don't damage the device. So they really thought about what you're using it for and how to protect you from some of the common things that people you know, run into when they're using these type of devices. Now, just to show you how this works really quickly, I've plugged in a charger over here just to make it convenient so I don't have to go fishing for an outlet. And it's a USB-C connection. Now, other things I want to point out about this is they could have used the micro USB connection on here, which is the older version of a connection cable. And that's not really used anymore. USB-C is the most common standard available today for all your portable devices. And that's exactly what this cable provides. But the reason that's important is because if you're going to try and charge something on your bedside stand that isn't wireless compatible, maybe you've got a tablet that you can't charge wirelessly. It's an Android tablet or you've got something else that charges game consoles that charge through USB-C, there's no reason you can't unplug the cable from the back of this and plug it in that device. And having a USB-C connection on it means it's almost universally compatible with newer devices. But anyway, you'll simply plug the charger into the wall, plug the cable into the back of it, and the unit's ready to go. Now, the minute I put my phone on the front, I want you to watch the LEDs on the bottom. You'll see the minute it sees it, a green LED comes on right down there. And that's letting me know I've got it in perfect position. Now, one other cool thing they did, which I think, again, they're thinking it through, is they could have had one big coil behind here to charge your phone. The challenge with that is maybe I want to have my phone down in the horizontal position like this in the landscape mode because I'm watching a movie before I go to bed at night. Well, the coil is going to be too high to charge my phone. They actually built two coils in here. They've got a vertical coil on the top and a horizontal coil down the bottom. So you can put your phone down here as well and it's still going to charge. So they've thought of those two positions that you might use your phone in and they've built coils in for both of those. Now, if you lay your watch on the top, the minute you get it on that pad, You'll see another light, it's kind of hard to see it, but there's a red light on right there. That's letting you know you're charging your phone. Now, I've got the phone on there and you can see it's charging. What I like about having a horizontal surface for the actual uh, watch is that some of these have kind of a beveled surface and they, they hope that the magnetics for that charging circuit will hang on to the watch, but over time it's gonna get weaker and weaker and that watch is gonna slide down. By having a horizontal surface like this, it lays on top of it right where I need it to be on that nice little rubber pad and it's always gonna be in the perfect position. Now the final charging circuit is this back one right here and it's designed for AirPods, but I've got a set of Wise earbuds right here and these are cheap compatible. When I lay those down on the back, you'll notice a blue light come on. So I've got a green light for the phone, I've got a red light for the watch, and I've got a blue light for my AirPods or any other uh, portable uh, buds like that you can charge through Qi. And those three lights up front, when I put my devices down at night, I look, I see all three lights on, I go, okay, I've got them exactly where I need to have them. The lights blink out after a couple of seconds and they're just charging. So all three of these will charge at the same time. I can put my phone on there, put my watch on the top, and everybody's drinking electrons and charging up my batteries for the next morning. So I've had a rough day at work. I come home, I wanna to go to bed early. I put my devices down on this charging pad, go to bed, get up the next morning, everything's fresh and fully charged, ready to go. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I think it's a great product. I've used it quite a bit. This is my second one. This is gonna go in the kitchen. A lot of times I'll put my phone down there. I've got one up in the bedroom as well. And I just think it's a great product. So I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.